the guy forced out of the pocket right side. He's going to be tackled behind the line. Another sack. And it'll bring up fourth down, and the Aggies will send out the field goal team. Back for another cut up with Kay Calla, Utah State edition. Mm -hmm. Boise State in an early 7 0 deficit. Utah State gets the ball back, trying to go down and score points. The Broncos desperately trying to limit them to a field goal on this third and nine at the Boise State 14 yard mm -hmm. line. Interim head coach Spencer Danielson said he wanted to have his guys on the attack. Mm -hmm. This play kind of epitomizes all of that. What do you see? Yep, definitely. This is a situation here where we can be on the attack and the defense's mentality is, hey, three points or no points. And so if we can make a big time stop here, we force them to kick a field goal, that's a win all day when you're inside the 20 yard line. And so by the way this formation looks, the quarterback isn't really sure what coverage we're in, where pressure might be coming from. We have a four man front. We got four guys on the line of scrimmage, your traditional D lineman showing pressure. But if you look in the back end, we have safety, safety, nickel and corner all flat across the line. Mm -hmm. And so he doesn't really know where where these guys are going to go once the ball is snapped and then underneath you have your two linebackers one of which is lined up over the tight end showing that he's playing man on that guy once the ball gets snapped that's where everything changes and where we really go on the attack right here we can see okay pause we had four guys that were down two of those guys which are two dns are not rushing the quarterback anymore and instead we bring our two linebackers one of which is a safety and so you give enough confusion for those old linemen up front they're not really exactly sure who they're blocking and who they're sliding to and that leaves our safety here untouched right up the middle and pressures the quarterback in his face once that guy's on the move like this he's not looking anywhere downfield to throw the ball and if you look in the back end everybody's covered up man for man safety here safety here our two corners are locked up and we have a free player here to the field and so where are you gonna go with the ball nowhere tuck it and run what we do a great job of here to finish this play, the D linemen and the linebackers stay in their rush lanes. And so Ty Benefield here forces the quarterback out of the pocket. And as soon as he thinks that edge is there, our guy playing the end of the field cuts that off and funnels this ball right back to DJ Schramm. Sack in the backfield, force him to kick a field goal. What I love about this play too is if you go back to actually the play prior, DJ Schramm, who's been a warrior this year, playing with a banged up shoulder, kind of falls and takes a, a hit on that banged up shoulder. And this time he comes back here and he's the guy that ultimately reaps the benefits from a bunch of his teammates doing the right job. Ty Benefield with the pressure, Sheldon Newton setting the edge, DJ Schramm gets the sack, pulling down that quarterback mm -hmm. with whatever is left of the one arm that he has. That's right. An absolute warrior on that play. But again, this play, kind of the epitome of what Spencer Danielson wants to do on defense. Tying it all together, staying on the attack. Green and company back out here on the 26 yard line, high snap. Green back to pass, looking long left side, wide open, louder the tight end, catches it in the end zone. And the Broncos, after the fumble recovery, have taken the lead now, 13 to 10. Jumping over to the offensive side of the ball now. Boise State is in kill mode right mm -hmm. here. On three straight plays, they have a George Alani 75-yard touchdown, a Braxton Feely strip mm -hmm. sack, and now they start off with ideal field position on first and 10 at the Utah State 26. So right here, we're in a great position to take our shot down the field and capture back some of that momentum that we're creating with those plays before. We come out here in one of our basic formations that we've shown a couple times throughout the year and Caden Dudley again down here in the slot another guy that's going to move for us and create some confusion before the snap you can see Utah State's defense is having trouble figure out where they're lined up at and by the time they get set we've already got our guy here in motion and if you see what that does once Caden starts going the safeties and guys in the back end start looking around right with their eyes figure out hey where's my new guy at and that gives just enough confusion for some false steps in the back end, which means those guys, they're not looking at where their man is or where their keys are, and they're taking a false step to the other direction. And we get a motion that causes some confusion, and then we get a play action fake in the backfield that causes more confusion. I mean, Ashton Jetty's probably causing a lot of false steps this year, right? Yep, they're gonna <laughs> think he's gonna have the ball, he's their go to guy, not this time. Once the ball's in Talon's hand, there's enough action and motion and things happening to the field side where the safeties lose track of where the tight end's going. And he just sneaks right back down the line of scrimmage, wide open, untouched, into the end zone. And so this is a product here of doing enough pre-snap and then having enough action post-snap taking guys away from where their keys are to sneak our tight end back 
three plays in a row, three momentum plays. Broncos never look back. Yeah, this game was over after this play. Boise State takes a 14-10 lead. They go on to win 45-10, which I believe is the exact score you predicted last <laughs> week. Apparently, you know what you're talking about, Kate Allen. I tried to.